Olympic champion Sufyan El Bakali made more history by becoming the first Moroccan to win the world men's 3,000 meter steeplechase title in Eugene, Oregon last year to add his groundbreaking victory at the delayed Tokyo Summer Games in 2021. His achievements have inspired a new generation of distance runners in the North African nation. We're now aiming to bring home medals from continental and international competitions this year. CGTN's Adnan Shawashi with more. Difah Senid al is one of the most successful athletics clubs in Morocco. Located 96 kilometers south of the city of Casablanca, it is part of the city of Al Jadida on the Atlantic coast of Morocco. Just like many provinces in this North African kingdom, the city has recorded a growing number of athletes, inspired by Olympic and World Stipple Chase champion Sufyan Al Bakali. The achievements of El Bakali, our Olympic and world champion, have a direct positive impact on Moroccan runners who are working harder. Athletes in Morocco are eager to follow in his footsteps to reach the podium and become champions. Bakali is an exceptional athlete who represents Morocco in the best way possible. It's unbelievable how many youth are coming every day to join the team, to train and to run. They also discover new athletics disciplines. Moroccan track, field and road athletes view Al Bakali as a role model. Thousands of young men and women are now aiming to pursue a professional career in the sport. Sofian El Bakali is very disciplined. He dedicates his life to sports. He is my idol. El Bakali is realizing the dream of a whole generation. With hard work and self-discipline, any Moroccan athlete can become a world champion. El Bakali, who broke Kenya's decades long established dominance in the water and barriers race, trains in the city of Ifran. This region is located 1750 meters above sea level, where high altitude enhances his performances on the track. El Bakali almost lives in Ifran because it's a high area. The altitude is advantageous for the Olympic champion, allowing his body to develop additional red blood cells for carrying oxygen. Once the athlete returns to sea level, he has an advantage over training at lower levels. El Bakali won Morocco's first Olympic gold in 17 years, the rise of the first track champion from the kingdom since the retired great Hisham El Garouche is paving the way for Moroccans to aspire to win more gold. Sofian El Bakali was born in Fes. When he was just a teenager, he entered the Mohammed VI International Academy in the city of Ifran, that is one of the pillars behind the success of athletics in Morocco. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.